Hi, this is Ben, and this is Micah from fineworkin4hours.com. And here's a really good question. What if you're asked to do something and you don't know how? I love that. That's my favorite thing. Why? Because it's usually an opportunity to learn something new, which means maybe need, not on that project, but on a project real soon, I get to get a raise. I make more money. I'm more marketable. Well, you've got a new service that you can provide new customers. Exactly. New clients. Exactly. And so when this happens, and if you do this right and you follow our steps, it will happen. Take it as an opportunity. Be honest about it. Say, listen, you know, I actually don't know how to do that, but I am interested in it. Would you give me a chance? Do you think uh, you could, you know, let me go and spend four hours and see if I can figure this out? Mm -hmm. And if you can't figure it out, don't charge them. Take it as a learning experience. I can't tell you how much I've learned doing that. In fact, uh, working for Ben and with Ben, I've written off quite a few hours over the last uh, year or so um, when I realized, wow, you know, I've spent uh, eight hours bumbling through this thing and I can't charge you for it, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't feel right about it. I'm, and you, I've written it off on the invoice, but I'm happy to do that. I've ex but now, but let's let's reverse that. Yeah. Yeah, you've done that a few times, right? Mm -hmm. oh, he might do that a few hours a month or something, right? Mm -hmm. But if I look back over the course of the year, what he's learned, I've taught him five, ten maybe new systems to work with. Platforms that are just, I, I, I would say I've tripled my my skill set. I've taught him new ways to generate work, do marketing, new approaches. I've included Micah in marketing strategies and trainings. Um, I've given him access to materials. So not every employer you're going to find uh, in these services is like myself or does what I do. I like to find good people and bring them into the team and uh, keep their development happening because if I keep them happy and keep them busy, I'm busy and it's, it works vice versa. And you don't have to go keep hunting for new people. You have a, a established rapport, right, exactly. right? So you have almost the benefits of having your own in-house uh, staff without all the headaches. Exactly. Right? So the thing is, is you may say, yeah, he wrote off eight hours here or two hours here or an hour here. Yep. But over three months, he's learned a completely new platform and got advanced. Yeah. Like advanced in some and moderate in others, but enough to be able to, when people post a job, you can go, hey, I can actually do that now. Absolutely. That's an extra 100, mm -hmm. 200. And typically these jobs that are more specialized, pay they, better. They pay better. So instead of being a $20 an hour employee, you're now at 25 or 50 in some areas. Or when I do it on a project rate, it could be 100, 200. Exactly. So don't think short term of, hey, he had to write a few hours off. Well, oh, uh, oh, Mike, let, let me pause. It's not, it's something that you should choose to do. You should take the partnership perspective mm -hmm. rather than the employee. The old way was to, to, to run the clock mm -hmm. and to juice him for as much. That's not the way to do it now. And that's not the way to build a, uh, a pipeline, if you will, of people sending you work. They'll, exactly. You'll get to a point rather quickly where it's, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing. That's an opportunity to grow. That might be the stepping stone you need to go, okay, now I think I need to hire somebody. I need to start building a team. Exactly. So you can find out this and a lot, lot more at findworkin4hours.com. That's findworkin4hours.com where you're never going to be unemployed again. Go. See you there. Get out of here. Shoo.